Before Chen Yuan activated the hack, Kimura Shimikin was playing chess and leisurely enjoying tea. Why has there been no movement for so long? Ha ha ha. It seems that this Wu Rai Ki Tone has run out of strength, he said. After drinking half a cup of tea, Shimikin saw Chen Yuan continue to move his chess pieces. Not only that, but his opponent also fell into the trap he had set. Seeing this, Shimikin appeared arrogant and disdainful. I am still the best in the world. I thought there would be some drama, but in the end, it's still as dull as that. In the 50th move, his opponent continued to play randomly, making Shimikin feel confused. Hey, what kind of chess is this? His play has no strategy at all, as if he's playing haphazardly. Could it be that he's giving up? As the game quietly progressed to move 62, suddenly Chen Yuan placed a piece, and in an instant, the chess situation that was originally unfavorable for him completely turned around. Facing a heavenly demonic transformation formation, Chen Yuan smirked. Heavenly demonic transformation truly lives up to its name. At first glance, it seems to have no rules, but it hides countless deadly moves. Kimura Shimikin was stunned, feeling unable to explain this familiar feeling. This is heavenly demonic transformation. How could he neutralize my moves and used heavenly demonic transformation to defeat me as well? Who is Hu Rai Ki Tun? Has he changed someone else? Impossible. It can't be. He can't know heavenly demonic transformation. I am the one who knows heavenly demonic transformation. Unbelievable. The opponent's chess tactics are really terrifying. Even though I fell into a trap, he can still arrange a strategy to lure me into a careless mistake. 100 moves later, divine demonic metamorphosis became weaker and weaker. Eventually, he only knew how to follow the routine and fell into a dead end. The sudden shock of defeat hit him. Kimura Shimikin became silent. His whole body was numb and powerless. I have lost. It's so painful. Who is this person after all? After that, Kimura Shimikin began to wail in desperation. For the past half month, I have been dominating Hoxia, defeating all opponents. In over 100 games of Go with top players, I have only lost one. That one loss was a three-game match with Jaime Mushi, the top Go player in Hoaxida. Apart from him, I fear no other Go player in the world. And today, I was defeated by a novice player with only a fifth rank skill level, and using my own playing style at that. I am not satisfied. I must reclaim my honor. Playing Go continuously for 12 hours, Chen Yuan also felt extremely fatigued. He stretched out to relax his stiff body. Finally, the match has ended. It's only 10 o'clock at night, still early to play another game, or else I will miss out on a lot of points. Upon seeing this message, Kimura Shimikin was so angry that he almost exploded. Baka, a young good genius rating supreme in all arenas. When I am looked down upon by others, this Wu Rai Kitun is really arrogant. It makes me furious. Why do I, a go genius from the land of the rising sun, have to endure such humiliation by this arrogant Wu Rai Kitun? Kimura Shimikin then quickly defended himself, saying, Don't speak nonsense. I wasn't focused on playing just now, but this time I will play with all my might, except my challenge. After reading the message, Chen Yuan didn't say anything. Indeed, a stubborn donkey. Fine, if you don't respect me, I will make you respect and admire me. At the moment when Chen Yuan was preparing to change players, a sudden message appeared in the chat window, and he didn't know anyone on there. So when he received the message, it made him curious. Private message? Who is it? The message was none other than Kimura Shimikin sending, Hey, don't leave in a hurry. I want to play another game with you, except my challenge. After reading the message, Chen Yuan wanted to mockingly laugh a bit. It seems that this divine demonic metamorphosis guy seems unwilling to accept defeat. Plus, the slightly arrogant and self-satisfied way of speaking, it seems like a primary school student never having lost before, is it? Now losing to an equally skilled opponent, it probably won't taste good. Then Chen Yuan typed a quick response. Kid, you're not my opponent. Don't wallow in humiliation. Quickly go to your homework. Chen Yuan clicked the mouse to confirm the start of the second game. In the second game, Chen Yuan played as the white player. Right from the first move, he boldly placed his piece in a crucial position in the center of the board. This aggressive move truly surprised Kimura Shimigen. Usually in Go, players tend to place their pieces in the corners or on one side of the board to create a solid position. Placing a piece in the center from the very beginning is like being bold from the start of the game. It's a very risky move, placing the strongest piece right from the start caught me off guard. Or perhaps the piece placed in the center will become a sacrifice. Is this Wu Rai key tons all in strategy? But immediately after, Kimbera Shimikin thought of a possibility. Could he be planning to use the natural law strategy? If so, he must know the heaven and earth are on the same path strategy. No, my master once said that since the death of the Huaxia Go King, no one can master the heaven and earth are on the same path strategy. 
Even if someone can understand a small part, it's just a worthless waste. The true heaven and earth are on the same path strategy has been lost for a long time. Only the heavenly demonic transformation is the strongest go path. I will never lose to him. This time, Kimura Shimigan began to concentrate intensely. He skipped meals, his eyes glued to the computer screen. His move was slower than in the previous game, showing extreme caution and high alertness. Although in the first 10 moves, Chen Yuan fell into a disadvantageous position due to the opening in the central position, 10 minutes later, the two began to deploy their troops, creating a tense battle, but still unable to determine the winner. By move 36, Chen Yuan suddenly put down a perfect move, following the natural law of the game and achieving an absolute victory over Kimura Shimigan. At this point, Kimura Shimigan felt shocked, a sense of helplessness engulfing him, making him extremely uncomfortable. It's impossible. I could clearly predict his moves, know how his next move would create the board, but I couldn't find a way to counter it. All my traps became meaningless and there was no chance to reverse the game. Then looking at the position again, Kimura Shimigan could hardly believe it. Sweat had been dripping for a long time, gradually large drops began to fall, once again defeated, this time even more disastrous than the previous game. His first loss could be blamed on a lack of concentration, but this one was a complete domination from start to finish, a humiliating defeat too hard to accept. Kigura Shimikin began to make up his mind, play again. He was determined not to lose the third game. The thrilling third game began. This time, Kimura Shimikin went first with the black pieces. Immediately, he also made a bold move, placing his pieces in the center position. This is the secret passed down by Master Tokuda, a teacher whom Kimura Shimikin greatly respected. This universal variation move aims to seal off the opponent's path, leaving them confused and with no way out. This tactic has been carefully studied and transformed into his own strategy by Kimura Shimigan, just like learning a lesson in chess. Chen Yuan laughed contemptuously. Ha ha! Imitating my playing style, interesting but turning a tiger into a dog, there is no strongest chess move in the world, only the strongest chess player. You still don't understand but still want to use the heavenly demonic transformation to defeat me. Do you know that I understand my own chess moves better than anyone else? The heavenly demonic transformation cannot surpass the heaven and earth are on the same path. In the third match, barely 10 minutes passed before Kimura Shimikin was struck and left without armor. This defeat clearly demonstrates the lack and instability of his skills. Just a few hours ago, Kimura Shimikin was full of confidence in his superior abilities, but in the third losing round, every intricate trap and every clever move made him doubt his existence. This is an illusion. It must be an illusion. I cannot believe that I lost in just 20 moves. I cannot, as a Go Master, accept losing in just a few short minutes like this. Kimura Shimikin's mind exploded. His belief completely shattered 10 years of intense study, teaching and high expectations. I want to bring Japanese Go back to its peak to reach the position of world champion. Not beyond expectation, since I left the monastery a month ago, I have been dominating in Hua Xia, thinking that there was no longer any competition. But then I was beaten by a rookie from Paloxida. I cannot accept being defeated by a nameless person. And that means my dream of winning the world championship has turned to smoke. I must win against him. If not, this defeat is not just a regular loss, but a heavy blow to my confidence and courage. He will become a thorn in my side and I will struggle to progress. Failure shattered in front of Chen Yulin. Kimbera Shimikin couldn't bear it. He quickly sent a challenging message. Give me another chance for revenge. Let's play another round. This time, when Chen Yuan finished reading, he truly had nothing left to say. Again, this guy has lost three rounds in a row and still won't give up. This gaming platform should also have a function to resist too many invitations. Elementary school students are really irrational. After that, Chen Yuan replied decisively, refusing no more fighting. You are too weak and uninteresting. I don't like to bully the weak. Don't waste my time. I'm busy ranking up to amateur level. Kimura Shimikin stared at the screen, immediately spitting blood out of frustration. He said, I'm weak. It's really outrageous. Kibura Shimikin screamed in anger, throwing the expensive computer to the ground, shattering it. Hurai Kitan. I will definitely find him. I will defeat him. I will definitely win. At that moment, the door opened and a beautiful Japanese girl stepped into the room. Her beauty was like something out of a painting, with long silky hair and big sparkling eyes. She was Maria Azawa, the younger sister of Kimura Shimikin, born into a family with a tradition of playing Go. From a young age, Ozawa was passionate about the game. Anyone who could conquer the board was admired by her. Currently, the person Ozawa admired the most was Kimura Shimikin. Despite his cold demeanor and only caring about Go, it was exactly that coldness that made Ozawa infatuated with him. Maria Ozawa gently asked Kimura, What's wrong? Why are you so angry? Kimura Shimikin, feeling frustrated, said, I lost. Lost to someone named Huirai Kitun from Boxida. 
I'm sorry, Ozawa. I should be so upset, but I can't accept this defeat. Upon hearing this, Maria Ozawa gently patted Kimura Shimikin's shoulder to comfort him. There is a saying in Hoaxia that winning and losing is common. No one can guarantee that they will always win. Even the best Go player can lose at times. Furthermore, this is an online competition. How do you know that the opponent is not cheating? You cannot be certain that the opponent is stronger than you. Kimura Shimikin's suspicions and questions remained. Is it cheating, Ozawa? I don't understand. I even just lose one game, but three in a row. Hi, Rai Kitone is too powerful. I must defeat him. Ozawa, help me find him. I want to beat him and compete directly. Only in reality can I unleash my full strength. Also, I have realized my own mistakes. I understand the heavenly demonic transformation, but that strategy does not completely counter heaven and earth are on the same path. They are mutually exclusive. Only in direct competition can I avoid that mistake. Kimura Shimikin muttered to himself as if still immersed in the third game. Maria Azawa continued to encourage and at the same time send words of encouragement to Kimura Shimikin. You can rest assured, Ozawa is not only an excellent Go player, but also a talented hacker. Ozawa can trace IP addresses and accurately determine the location of others on the internet. You should not put too much pressure on yourself because you definitely know about AlphaGo. In an online match, your opponent could easily use AlphaGo to compete against you. You may think you're just facing a normal opponent, but in reality, it could be the world's leading AA. No matter how strong your calculating abilities are, you cannot beat the intelligence of AI. Kimura Shimikin remembered the abnormalities of the three matches that nodded. So that's how it is, now I understand. Initially, his true strength wasn't particularly strong, but then suddenly changed. If he cheated, then my loss is not unjust. Maria Azawa continues to assert that the power of Kimura even surpasses that of his master, and he has even defeated Zhang Muji and stirred up the Go world in Hoaxia. Hoaxia has invited some master Go players to compete with him, and there are rumors that some tycoons in Hoaxia have put a prize on the internet. Whoever defeats him will receive over a billion in prize money. However, Kimura does not let these small failures get him down. He imagines the possibility of his opponent cheating and receives encouragement from Maria Azawa. He quickly regains his composure and confidence. He decides to only accept one challenge per day, have more time to study the heavenly demonic transformation opening, and calculate the moves carefully. Currently, he can only use traps in the opening of the heavenly demonic transformation and calculate up to the 17th move, but he is determined to calculate up to the 18th move, even the 20th move. Maria Azawa could only sigh and exclaim, yes, I will arrange it. Kimura, you really are crazy. Kimura Shimikin took a deep breath and thought to himself, at first, I was worried about whether or not Wu Rai Ki Tun would participate in the match. His name is terrifying, especially since he enjoys tormenting amateur players. But now I have nothing to fear. No master of Go can trouble me. I have a feeling that, after gaining experience from this match, my Go skills will reach a new level. Seeing Kimura Shimikin regain his composure, Maria Azawa felt somewhat relieved. She thought, fortunately, Kimura is not just a simple-minded teenager. A few encouraging words are enough to lift his spirits. Without them, the slap earlier might have thrown off his mental state, causing a decline in his skills. My father was too hasty in passing on his legacy to Kimura. His temperament does not match his Go skills. Heavenly Demonic Transformation is a highly complex Go strategy, with a diverse range of traps and variations. My father could predict 10 moves ahead in Heavenly Demonic Transformation. As the game progresses, each move becomes more unpredictable. Every piece that falls on the board creates a completely new situation. Predicting the next 10 moves is almost impossible for humans. However, Kimura has surpassed this limit, studying and developing heavenly demonic transformation to the point where he can calculate up to the 17th move, an extraordinary achievement that surpasses even his master. So why is he still not satisfied? But thinking about the master defeating Kimura Shimikin three consecutive games made Maria Azawa feel worried. Why did he get beaten so easily today when playing online chess with only 40 moves he defeated Kimura? Even my father couldn't do that. Does this kind of person really exist? It's unbelievable. But why would a master like that come to bully the amateur players? Doesn't he feel ashamed? He's really shameless. On this side, Chen Yuan has been playing online Go Chess all day until late at night. Unlike the two Japanese brothers, Chen Yuan completely ignored his opponent nicknamed the Demon King. With a bit of delusion of power, he only thought of him as an elementary school student. Looking at his information, he has reached the amateur level 7, which made Chen Yuan feel a bit frustrated. I spent the whole night playing and only reached the amateur level 7 to challenge Kimura Shimikin, that annoying brat. I must reach the professional level, if not, 
He won't even step foot at my door at the current pace. It will probably take three days to reach amateur level nine. Well, it's okay. It's not urgent. Chen Yuan continued to reassure himself. What is my current level of go? Am I strong or weak? Playing though with any opponent always feels like playing with an elementary school student. Currently, my evaluation system is professional level nine with 50 years of go experience. Coupled with a high level mentality, I possess all the necessary elements to become a top master. Looking at me, one can't help but feel like I'm playing at a higher level. But I believe that the top level is not something too exaggerated. In Hoasia alone, there are many Go players who have achieved this top level. Then casually, I encountered an elementary school student that almost knocked me off balance. Luckily, I still have a system. No matter what, I still have a lot of room for improvement. I must strive, because even the top master Zhang Mu Ji is a professional level 9, but lost to Kimura Shimikin. There are always people better than me in this world. There are taller mountains than the one I am standing on. There are stronger waves than the one I am riding. Therefore, I should not be arrogant, but always maintain a humble attitude. In a different place in Ma Duo, inside a luxurious mansion with a strong ancient Western style, Yu Ling Shuang was imprisoned in absolute silence. She was completely isolated from the outside world, her phone, bank cards were confiscated, and no one brought her any information or conversation. But Yu Ling Shuang seemed to be accustomed to this treatment. Compared to the ups and downs of the past, these few days of isolation meant nothing, and deep in her soul, the flame of resistance still burned quietly. Today, Yu Ling Shuang was finally taken out of confinement, her once delicate face now even more haggard, the wounds on her face still bleeding, making anyone who saw it shudder. Yu Ling Shuang, you can go out now. Master Jia Mu wants to see you. As Yu Ling Shuang was taken from her confinement to where Jin Jia Mu was, her elder sister who grew up with her had also finished investigating the information. Kan Gei Yan went to Jin Jia Mu respectfully to report. Master, we have collected some important information. Jin Jia Yu couldn't help but ask, So, have you found what you were looking for? Kan Ganyan and Yu Ling Shuang are both strong supporters of Jin Jia Mu. If Yu Ling Shuang is called the Queen of Diplomacy, then Kan Ganyan is the Queen of Internal Affairs. Both of them were trained from orphans in the orphanage and considered the two best candidates in the Lai Shi business empire, leading to a silent rivalry between them. Kan Ge Eon informed Jin Jia Mu that she had discovered suspicious behavior from Yu Ling Shuang, providing misleading information and causing serious damage to the company. The report stunned Jin Jia Mu with the enormous amount of money she owned. Kan Ge Eon continued to add fuel to the fire. Yes, sir. Besides the suspicious behavior, this is also one of the important pieces of evidence that she has a problem. Upon hearing this, Jin Jia Mu smirked and said, so that's it, Lim Yong Wong is indeed generous, spending 30 billion to bribe her. It's understandable that she would betray the company, betray Lai Shi. Even I would find it hard to resist such temptation. Jin Jia Mu began to interrogate with a tome of disappointment. You, Ling Shuang, you're good. I can't believe the woman I trusted is a traitor. No wonder, your attitude has changed so much lately. Maybe someone has been influencing you. Yu Ling Shuang's originally sullen face now also showed signs of disappointment. So this is what you think of me, sir. You think I would betray Lai Shi for money. As soon as she finished speaking, Jin Jia Mu threw the report straight at Yu Ling Shuang's face and yelled angrily. Is it not true? If you had no intention of betraying, then why did you deliberately conceal the truth at Jiang Bako? Did you ever report about that huge 30 billion account to me? What else are you pretending for? The silence of Yu Ling Shuang only made Jin Jia Mu even more angry. He continued to question harshly. Can't say a word. Do you have anything to defend yourself? Being bribed is being bribed. The truth is obvious. Jin Jia Mu paused for three seconds. His next words carried a chill that made Yu Ling Shuang shudder. You should know betraying me will have serious consequences to bear. The atmosphere in the villa suddenly became cold, as if the temperature had dropped a few degrees. Silence enveloped the room. Even Kan Geion felt a shiver. After more than 20 seconds of silence, Yu Ling Shuang finally spoke. I know the consequences of betraying the master, and I don't want to continue arguing. Because it's useless, we should discuss practical matters instead. Jin Jia Mu looked coldly at Yu Ling Shuang and asked, Practical matters? Yu Ling Shuang knew that her life was at stake, so she made a proposal to make amends, I know that the master's plan this time has caused losses to the company, which could affect your inheritance position, but 30 billion dong is enough to compensate for those losses. I agree to use this money to repay the kindness that Lai Shi has shown me over the years, and I also hope that this money can earn the master's forgiveness. 
From now on, I will no longer have any ties to Lai Shi. Yu Ling Shuang finished speaking, then closed her eyes as if to hide the tears rolling down her cheeks. However, her face remained strangely calm, as if all of her emotions had frozen. A few days of prohibition have made me stronger and more determined. I know that handing over 30 billion to Lai Shi is a betrayal to Chen Yuan, who has always trusted me. But this is the only way for me to escape my current situation. Otherwise, I may never see the sunrise again. I'm sorry, Chen Yuan. If I can return to Jiayang Bakum safely, I will definitely use the rest of my life to make up for my mistakes. Yu Ling Shuang's apology request made Jin Jia Mu extremely pleased. He laughed triumphantly and mockingly. Ha ha ha. After that, Jin Jia Mu looked back at Yu Ling Shuang with a cold, emotionless gaze. Well, you were quite alert then. 30 billion to buy back your freedom is quite a bargain. Transfer the money, then you can leave. Yu Ling Shuang, the younger sister, didn't know if Jin Jia Mu was really kind enough to easily forgive her or if this was just a cunning scheme of his, but the fact that Jin Jia Mu promised to forgive her showed that he was someone who always kept his promises and highly valued integrity as evidenced by his famous title, Ma Duo Lai Shi. After the 30 billion giant were transferred, Jin Jia Nu smiled dangerously. This account is in a foreign country. After the money is transferred, there will be someone to help me launder it, turn it into legal financial resources, and transfer it into my personal account. As for the promise I made to forgive you, I will keep it while you're still here, but after you leave, I can't guarantee what might happen. 